Most High Yahuwah does not respect a deadbeat dad. Mm. Deadbeat. There are many men who are raising their children. But there are many men who's never raised, excuse me, never raised their child or children. There are men who step up to the plate and for whatever reason you have split up with the baby mama. That's between you and the baby mama and the Holy Spirit. But my point of this video is there is no excuse for a man not to raise his child. Now if that man has some type of handicap issue and needs help we see different things like that and even with that I know I know men in wheelchairs and, and, and different situations still are for their children but JT that's kind of wrong for you to say that you know the Holy Spirit don't respect no deadbeat well when you look in scripture first of all a lot of women don't even get this you ever notice the Bible says, fathers, raise your children? Fathers, raise your children. Fathers, don't provoke your child to anger. Because the mother nurtures the child. But that discipline, that raising, that upbringing, that tough love, it comes from the father. The father. <laughs> And the daddy. Somebody better catch this. There is no reason to keep making up excuses after excuses after excuses. See, the Bible says any man that don't want to take care of his immediate family is worse than an infidel. You know what an infidel is? An unbeliever. And the Bible says he has denied the faith. So when you when you think about that scripture alone, give me a minute or two too. I'm doing a video. When you when you think about that alone, I'm ra I'm I'm always raising my children. <laughs> that means you have denied the faith. But you want that child that you weren't there for I don't know how many years to automatically respect you. How? When you weren't there. You trying to tell that child, don't be angry, but you wasn't there. You going to tell that child that, boy, your mama didn't do a good job with you, but you wasn't even there at all to help raise the children. Many, many, many men want that respect. You got to earn that respect. Holy Spirit don't respect no deadbeat. You suppose... To raise your children. Now I understand when there is men into it. And, and I can't do this video without saying this. Because somebody's going to say, JT, you left that part out. There are so many women. Who do not want. That man that's trying to be there. To be with his children. So you use the children against that man. Bad mistake. And then you wonder why your child gets older, they wind up hating you. That, that daddy was trying to be there. You didn't want him to be. Regardless of how it went down, he's still the daddy. <laughs> Regardless of your differences, you have to be able to put away your differences for the child's sake, the children's sake. But you show me why the Holy Spirit respects that. You don't want to take care of your immediate family, as the scriptures say. You are worse than the unbeliever or infidel. You have denied the faith. You know how powerful that scripture is. Which means every last one of us as men, if we have went against that scripture, we in bad shape. This ain't to make you mad. Just to wake you up. So think about it. And then some men got the nerve to go start a whole nother family 
Raise that family, but don't raise the one that you had first. Deny the faith. We better get it right. Fathers, don't provoke your child to anger. When you are not there, who's left to raise the children? Mama. So what usually happens is an unbalanced child who's growing up without daddy, a little boy that only sees the female genes, <laughs> now he's becoming so feminine. That little girl who wanted her daddy all her life, but her daddy been gone, locked up, or already in the grave. Don't provoke your child to anger. It's too late. They're already angry. Because your actions hurt them. What you didn't do hurt them. I leave on that. Shalom.